Hi all, in this video I'm going to teach you how to add and subtract fractions with different denominators. So let's get straight to it. If we had a fraction that was 2 thirds plus 7 over 12, we can't just add the top numbers, add the bottom numbers. Um, those are the numerators, top numbers, denominators, bottom numbers. So we have to get a common denominator, that means the same number for my denominator, so the same number at the bottom here. Now, I need to think of a number which is in the 3 times table and the 12 times table. Now, really, the lower number you pick, the better, because you've got less simplifying to do at the end. So, what you're really looking for is the lowest common multiple of this number and this number, 3 and 12. So if you go through the 3 times table, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, and same with the 12 times table, you're looking for the number, the smallest number that appears in both lists. And from that we can see that 12 is that number. So 12 is the lowest common multiple between 3 and 12. We could have picked other numbers, other numbers do work, um, but 12 is the best number. So I'm going to change this to something over 12 plus something over 12. Now, this 7 here hasn't changed um, because it's still over 12. So the 7 I can put straight away here. However, this 2 I need to change. It would be wrong for me to write a 2 here because the fraction has changed. I'm looking for an equivalent fraction to 2 thirds where my denominator is 12. So I have a look. What have I times the 3 by to get to 12? Well, I've times it by 4. 3 times 4 is 12. So whatever I do to the denominator, I have to do to the numerator. So I'm going to multiply the 2 by 4 as well. 2 times 4 is 8. So now I have 8 over 12 plus 7 over 12. So I keep the denominator the same, 12, and 8 plus 7 is 15. So my answer is 15 over 12. However, I can simplify this. So let's think. I'm looking now for the highest common factor, the highest number that goes into 15 and 12, and that is 3. So I'm going to divide the numerator by 3 and the denominator by 3. So 15 divided by 3 is 5, 12 divided by 3 is 4, 5 over, over 4. Now actually I can simplify this further because this is an improper fraction, it's top heavy and we consider these a bit ugly so I'm going to change it into a mixed number. So for this I'm thinking how many 4's are in 5? Well 1 and what's the remainder? Well, 1, 4 is 4, so the remainder to get to 5 is 1. And then my denominator, 4, stays the same. So my answer is 1 and 1 quarter. If you want to know more about converting between mixed numbers and improper fractions, um, please watch the other video for that. Right, um, let's do another example. Move this up. Okay, so this time we'll look at subtracting. So we can do 4 over 5 minus 3 quarters. So, again, I need a common denominator because these denominators here are not the same, the 5 and the 4. So I'm looking for a number in the 5 times table and the 4 times table. Now you can write this out if you want, but you, some of you may be able to do it in your heads. Well done if you've come up with the number 20, because 20 is in the 5 times table and the 4 times table. Other numbers would work too, like 40 or 60, but 20 would be the simplest number to choose. So I'm going to change my denominators both to 20. Now I'll have a look at the 5. What if I times the 5 by to get to 20? Well, I've times it by 4. So I need to times the numerator by 4. 4 times 4, 16. So 4 over 5 is exactly the same as 16 over 20. It's just a different way of writing the fraction. They are equivalent fractions. 
Now let's look at the 4. Well, the 4 has been times by 5 to get to 20, so I need to times the numerator by 5. 3 times 5, 15. So now my denominators are the same. I can subtract them, keeping the denominator the same in my answer. So 16 minus 15 is 1. Then I check, do I need to simplify it? Well, 1 over 20 can't be simplified. So 1 over 20 is the correct answer. OK, I'm going to give you a couple to try. One adding and one subtracting. Let's, so let's see how you get on with these. So the first one we have 3 fifths plus 4 over 7. And number 2, 5 over 6 minus 2 thirds. Okay, why don't you give those a go? You can pause the video now. Okay, let's see how we got on then. So for this first one, we need a common denominator between the 5 and the 7. I hope you picked 35. That's the lowest common multiple. If you picked 70, that would be okay. You just need to simplify at the end. I'm going to pick 35 because it's the easiest number to pick here. So let's see. The 5 I've times by 7. So this I need to times by 7. 3 times 7, 21. And the 7 here I've times by 5. So I times the numerator by 5. 4 times 5 is 20. So I can add them now, keeping the denominator the same. 21 plus 20 is 41. Now, if you've got 41 over 35, well done. That is the answer. But you will have got an extra mark if you realise this was a improper fraction, top-heavy. So we can simplify this into a mixed number. So how many 35s are in 41? 1. And the remainder is 6 over, and 35 stays the same. So extra well done if you've got 1 and 6 over 35. Right, this one here. My common denominator. Well, if you picked 18, that would work. But actually, or 12 would work, but actually 6 is the lowest common multiple. Because 6 is in the 6 times table, and 3 is in the, three time, is in the 6 times table. So, this 6 here has just been times by 1. It hasn't really changed, so I don't need to times the 5 by anything. So that can stay the same. And this 3 here, well, that's changed to 6, so I've times it by 2. So I need to times the 2 by 2. 2 times 2 is 4. So now my denominators are the same. Leave it the same as 6. 5 minus 4 is 1. So well done if you got 1 sixth for that one. OK, um, that's adding and subtracting fractions with different denominators. If you found this easy, if you've mastered it, then you may want to look at adding and subtracting mixed numbers. Now, we're not going to cover this in this video, but questions like 3 and 3 quarters plus 1 and 2 thirds. That's the kind of question that you should be aiming to tackle after you've mastered the questions similar to the ones above. Okay, that's all. Goodbye.